Hey everybody, it's Harry from Step by Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. You see me use a lot of pits on my channel and some of it are very expensive and some of you have commented that, Harry, why don't you show us how to do simple barbecue with just simple equipment? So in today's episode, I'm going to continue my Gitter Done series where I'm going to show you how to take an ordinary watermelon and convert it into a grill and we're going to grill a pork chop on it to show you how it can be done. If you have your own Gitter Done video clips that you want to share, please uh, go ahead and send them to me and I'll stitch them all into a viewer reel to showcase all of the great ideas out there that people are using to Gitter Done their barbecue. <laughs> We begin the process by essentially cutting off about one third of the watermelon and uh, we're gonna tilt it on its edge. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a, a place where the watermelon can sit securely so that it sits on its natural center of gravity. We're gonna basically remove the top, hollow out the inside. I have a bucket here. We're gonna make some mojitos with the watermelon and we're gonna convert this into basically a grill. I'm going to flip the top piece over, create some grills, slats on it. We're gonna grill a porterhouse pork chop on it. And I'm gonna make some holes at the bottom also for the air to come in so that we maintain all the thermodynamic principles of a good grill. Oh, bottom with the little holes. Ventilation, classic. So I have here some uh, dry aged pork chops from a uh, compact Duroc all the way from the Midwest. Season it with some rub. Second one here. You put a little bit of foil over it so you cook a lot faster once we get it to about 135, 140 degrees. Take a peek here. Oh, looking beautiful. Super delicious. So now you too can do your own watermelon grill and it's not that hard. We cook a pork chop today but uh, you can probably cook a, some hot dogs and some hamburgers on your watermelon grill. So this concludes another episode of my Gitter Done barbecue. So if you have your own Gitter Done recipes and clips, if you want to send them to me, I will post them on my channel and we'll all do some more Gitter Done barbecue episodes. So until the next time, please like, subscribe and share. And we'll see ya.